I think the, uh, the obvious unmet need, the one that comes first to mind uh, with regards to PV, is that we really don't have a drug that can prevent progression to myelofibrosis or transformation to AML. The latter is a dreadful uh, uh, um, uh, diagnosis. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's frankly a catas catastrophic event uh, for the patient. Uh, survival is very poor when MPNs transform to AML. So that is clearly the biggest uh, unmet need, in my opinion. Um, in, uh, in terms of strategies that are being pursued, there is now interest in MDM2 inhibition. Um, as uh, a new therapeutic approach in PV. We have data on like 11 patients from ASH 2017, so very small number of patients at this point, but there are companies that are pursuing MDM2 inhibitors in PV. There are not a whole lot of new agents being pursued in PV, but there are a few. Um, uh, HDAC inhibitors have been studied in PV for a long time, and there is one called Givinostat, which I believe is still being developed for PV. Uh, there is a new long-acting interferon formulation called Ropeg interferon alpha, which uh, predominantly has been uh, uh, trialed in Europe and recently got a positive opinion from the EMA there. Um, uh, this has been developed in the frontline setting, actually, uh, in a trial uh, versus hydroxyurea, to which it was non-inferior. Um, so again, that's an interferon approach. MDM2 inhibitors, small molecules, have been studied. Uh, the clinical data we have so far is fairly limited, just about, uh, uh, um, I think it was about 10 or 11 patients at ASH 2017, but multiple companies are pursuing MDM2 inhibitors. A very new kid on the block is uh, what's called a, 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 a hepcidin mimetic. Uh, that is another class of agents that's being developed. So there are a few things uh, on the horizon uh, for PV beyond JAK inhibition.